Having trouble with your liquid level controller? You may need to change the size of your displacer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to select the right displacer and spring size to maintain consistent liquid level control. Hi, I'm Will with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. A Gen 2 liquid level controller uses a displacer to sense the liquid level change inside a vessel. It then actuates a dump valve to maintain a liquid level inside a production vessel. The standard displacer used in the Gen 2 is 2x12 PVC. This size works for most applications with most fluids. The standard displacer can sense interface if the difference in specific gravity is larger than 0.2. However, if the differential in the specific gravities of your fluids is less than 0.2, you will need to change your displacer out for a larger one. To select the correct displacer, you need to know your connection and separator configuration. If your connection is 2 inch, you can use the 2x20 displacer. If you can use a flange plate or a large plate adapter, we recommend a 3x12. You will also want to use the 3x12 if the 2x20 is too long, like in a smaller diameter vessel. One thing to note if you're installing a liquid level controller and you have a narrow weld neck, like in a 12 inch vessel, you will need to install a split float in order to get the displacer in vertically. If you use a larger displacer or an extension of any size, you also need a heavy spring to counterbalance the heavier displacer. The back mount and electric models use a coil spring, while the side mount uses a flat spring. Watch our Gen 2 repair videos to see how to change the springs and displacers in detail. You can also reference the chart in the Gen 2 technical documents on our website to find out which spring and arm configuration you'll need. For more about how to troubleshoot liquid level control, watch this next video.